Yo, what is going on guys? Johnny here. Welcome back to another Call of Duty World War 2 video and today I want to talk about the DLC map pack one that was announced yesterday for Call of Duty World War 2 and it is going to be called the Resistance DLC Pack 1. It's going to hit January 30th first on PS4 and then March 2nd or 3rd I believe on Xbox One and PC which by the way if you are playing this game on PC you're a trooper, man. Honestly, shout out to you. Sledgehammer Games does not give a about you. However, I do. And, oh my god, it sucks to be you guys right now. It honestly does. So, my heart goes out to you guys on PC. It's pretty deep. All right. Before I get into this DLC map pack, I just want to let you guys know that I do feel a certain type of way about it, but I will be reserving my opinions until after I go through what's in this DLC map pack, and then I will be comparing it to what we got in IW last year, the incentives, what the differences are, what I do, and what I do not like, but first let's just jump right into this map pack and what we get. We are going to get three multiplayer maps, one new war operations map, and a new zombies map. So first off, the first map we're going to get is actually called Occupation. This was already leaked. I think it was during the beta as resistance yeah the remaking resistance from call of duty modern warfare 3 again for the second year in a row but i will get to that just later on in the video stay tuned for that the next one we have is called valkyrie and this was actually leaked as well and this was actually wolf slayer within the game files surprisingly enough there was actually a wolf slayer i did not know this but i'm reading this right now it is inspired by the wolf slayer hitler system front headquarters during operation barbosa i do not know what that means maybe some of you guys out there who are world war ii buffs know i'm just reading this for the first time the third one we have is actually called anthropod and that one was already leaked as well i don't remember under what name it was but it was in the game files i think it was during the beta or very shortly after launch when we got an update it's just a bunch of leaks all over the place with call of duty man there's no surprise as for you war buffs, you are getting a new map called Operation Intercept. Now, me personally, I would like war a lot more if the map layout was different, so I might give it a shot here. But as it stands now, war is not really my thing, so my opinion is not very valid. I'm just happy that you guys who do play war exclusively are getting a new map. And as for you zombie buffs out there, you are getting a whole new map called the Darkest Shore. Um, it This occurs only one day after uh, the horrific disaster of Miltonburg. I have no idea what that is, so I'm not even going to try. Um, once again, I'm not really a zombies guy. I really don't like it in this game, so my opinion really isn't valid here. However, for those of you who do enjoy it, man, go crazy. So now that we actually went through what's in the DLC map pack, I want to talk about how I feel about it because I do feel a certain type of way. I do enjoy this game, and I'm going to try my best to not not slander it because I remember last year during Infinite Warfare I remember watching some of my favorite Call of Duty YouTubers before I actually decided to get on YouTube because I wanted to see Infinite Warfare content I remember watching them slander Infinite Warfare and I'm gonna be honest it kind of turned me off and I kind of didn't want to watch them I don't know if you guys felt the same way or not so my goal here is to not be that youtuber and actually just say everything I want to say as if it were a conversation and a discussion I do not want to slander this game I want everybody to be able to enjoy whatever game they want to enjoy come here and enjoy it with me because I do still enjoy playing this game for the videos you guys I really do I really do have fun but now let's just jump into how I feel about it you guys know how I said we're only getting three new multiplayer maps it's really more like two because not even six months ago during dlc 3 for infant warfare we already got resistance in the third dlc map pack for iw and it was called ember that wasn't even six months ago dude and they're already remaking it for this year's call of duty in the first dlc map pack as for resistance it wasn't even one of the better maps i mean don't get me wrong i really did enjoy it it just wasn't one of the more recognizable maps i definitely 100 would have preferred dome and so this brings me to my next point I know that when you buy the season pass, and it's probably my fault for getting angry here, but I know that when you buy the season pass, you're only buying DLC map packs, so they are not promising you anything more or anything less. As a matter of fact, for the pre-order, you were promised 1100 COD points, a permanent unlock token, and a cool animated zombies camo. I got none of that. And I know I'm not the only one, but I'm just not going to moan about it anymore because what's the point? I really don't think I'm going to get it anytime soon, but I did not get my three pre-order incentives. And on top of that, I think it's total garbage that we only got nine maps at launch and you had to shell out an entire year $60 extra for the season pass just to get access to a 10th multiplayer map. 10 maps just is not enough, okay? The rotation... You end up playing the same map over and over again and it gets old real quick and especially with a map like resistance being remade 
again with only two new original maps that's not going to help the game's lifespan in my opinion let me know what you guys think in the comments down below once again and before i get into my next point i understand that iw was one of the more hated call of duties in a while i acknowledge that however iw did set a standard itself as far as how season pass holders should be treated because you're pretty much paying for an entire extra game that's about 120 dollars us it's a lot of money so i really do like that even though there were variants which was very bad in my opinion you still got the base weapon for free if you held the season pass you didn't just get access to a crappy map you actually got weapons for free and if you didn't have the season pass you didn't have to rely on supply drops you could get it for free by doing some set of challenges and they were pretty tedious and annoying but for the most part they were doable and they were not locked behind time challenges the same way they are here Dude, I had 8 hours to complete 50 multiplayer matches so that I could get the stun. Sorry dude, I don't have that kind of time Sledgehammer games. I don't have 8 hours to just sit down and grind out 50 games. And so ultimately, that's just what my point is. I feel like we're getting ripped off. We're only getting 3 maps, 1 war map, and this game only launched with 9 maps as it is. I'm not even going to count Karantan because you have to have the season pass for it. I 100% recommend that you do not get it. Just the season pass this year is honestly not worth it. Not after the the standard that infant warfare set last year but ultimately these are just my thoughts and i would love to hear yours let me know what you guys can in the comments down below also if you're new around here bros the channel if you like what you saw consider dropping a sub and yeah and if you like what you see consider dropping a sub wait i already said that damn i don't even know how to do my own outro i'm just gonna leave it there peace you guys peace and love to the world johnny out